I think it's nice to relax a little bit in the summer. That's the only time I can completely forget about everything. In the summer, I get inspiration from other things, from other sports. I take a step back, try to reflect what, like, what direction I want to go, what tricks I want to like try. It's hard to think of all of that in the middle of the season. The only time I would say I'm off work is when I like go skating. Should we skate now? Yeah, let's go skating. I would say I, I like challenges. And skating, it's just like it's the hardest sport, so it's a nice way to to keep your mind and body 100% focus on that particular thing. Like busy during the summer season, I keep the challenge going all year. To keep it fun, you need to progress, so that's why I learned new tricks on skateboard. I think I get inspired by a lot of skate videos, and I get inspired by the, the style of skating. At some point they just had it. I don't know. I could like kind of visualize how they did it. Got a fresh board. I like the lines they're doing too. Like they do like mul multiple tricks in a line. I haven't really done that in skiing. So I, I've seen other people do it on skis and it's really sick so. I kind of want to do more stuff like that. We're here at Åre Skola. This is like the street plaza here in Åre. When I skate, this is where I go. I'm gonna try to get a line. Kick flip in the bank and then switch flip. It's gonna be today's challenge. I think it helps me like, for sure with balance. It's a completely different sport. Uh, you stand sideways, the board is loose. And it's way harder to do tricks, ah! at least for me. So, but I think the like the battle or like the challenge is still like the same. So it's for sure helping the mind to stay focused because it's so hard to do the tricks on skateboard. You need to be so precise. It's not the same with skiing. With skiing, you have bigger margins on like on the tricks. At least I want to get the line without toe dragging. Or... Toe drag, you land, drag your toe. It's not a good landing. The mindset when I go skating is, has to be like, I need to be more sharp. Which I think helps with my skiing too, because when I'm like paddling a trick, I could be like, yeah, I need to stay focused like, like I'm doing on a skateboard. I, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist, but maybe a little bit. I think a few of them were good, but it didn't feel right. Like when you land and you feel like, ah, nice. That, that's what I'm looking for. It's a nice feeling when you accomplish something you've been practicing for a long time. Before you always had to visualize a trick in order to like understand how you would do a trick. But nowadays you can have so many training stuff you can do like on trampoline and the foam pit and the airbag. Alright. Here at jump yard. When I'm training like I'm at jump yard, that's like the most common place where I come up with new ideas. Because okay. then you can like try it right away. Here you have to do stuff real quick like you do one trick, next trampoline, you gotta do another one, another one, another one. It's kind of nice to, to just flip around, fool around. Maybe you end up in the same situation with skis on, on the slope, where you have to do a trick and right away go for the next one. And for that, this is really good practice. All, 
pretty much all the basic tricks on the trampoline. And also I did my first doubles on trampolines. Trampoline was for sure a big training tool for me when I grew up. If you want to get good at skiing, I would say the best thing is inline skates. Time to get stoked. Time to learn tricks. Very close to skiing, like the feeling when you do tricks. But the only thing is that it's harder. On skis you can like throw it weird and still it will work out. You gotta be on point if you're gonna do the tricks on inline skates. It's a natural. It still looks super, super nice, super cool. Now in the summer we have, we practice a lot with the national team, Free Ski Sweden. We're a few like skiers and snowboarders now that like we train together. Let's go. Boom. Super nice when the whole team is here. You get inspired by all, all, all the other guys. If they do a new trick, you kind of get stoked to do a new trick yourself. I think this is really important to just get used to your tricks and also just keep the ski feeling alive, like being in the air. I'm working on switch natural 14s. Never done them on skis. I've done the switch 12, but not, not the 14. You get so much power from the takeoff. It's not the same on skis, so it's like feels good now, but I kind of feel like I have to do it on the airbag before taking it to snow. Maybe trampoline first, and then the foam pit, and then the airbag, and then to snow. Even if you practice a trick on the on the airbag for like months, it's when you get to snow, you're like, all right, it's like you you can't mess up. I don't think you will ever get rid of that feeling, even if you practice a bunch and you still get to learn how to overcome fear. Now we're walking up the, the fjell, up on the mountain. Let's see if we find a nice spot to get a good view. I for sure still feel challenged when I go skiing because yeah, I always try to progress. If I would just do the same tricks all the time, I would get bored, I think so. That's my office when I'm here in the winter. Skiing is always in the back of my head, lurking around. It's always random when I come up with new tricks. Here's where I, I write down all my, my trick ideas. And also when you draw it, it's like, you get some more ideas when you see it actually on the paper. This is all from the first in release. Actually, here's the most recent one. There. Spiral. Yeah, I came up with that one because we had this, like, the complete circle rail in the first un unrealistic video. But then I thought, like, oh, let's make a... Let's make it a spiral. You really need to put some time into some tricks. Especially rail tricks, for me. The loop rail, that took 14 months from first attempt to the last one. What has been a big part of, of my uh, like skiing career and I think this is the perfect place to be in the summer. It's a sick feeling to be up on a mountain. This is a good place to, to relax. I don't feel like moving away from here. I don't know, it's just a, it's just a vibe. As long as I can be close to skiing, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied.